I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, and this is an unboxing of the Nest Temperature Sensor, which is Nest from Google. So basically, this is a brand new device that they just introduced. If you have a Nest thermostat, which I demo in another video, you can actually add this Nest Temperature Sensor, which currently costs about $20, I think it's going to be about $40, uh, ultimately. You can put this somewhere else in your house where you want to control the temperature separately, um, and then you can use it in the app to make sure that at certain times of day the temperature is set properly for that room rather than for the rest of your house. So the example they give is a baby's room. If you wanted to have that be a higher or lower temperature at night than the rest of the house, you could put one of these temperature sensors in there and then interface it with your Nest thermostat. And at night you could have it, for example, make the baby's room cooler than the rest of the house. And it would, it would cool the whole house. The rest of the house would probably be even colder. Um, it's not actually doing, you know, one single zone like that, but um, you're making sure that the one room where you want to prioritize, you're going to have the right temperature at that time. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Let's see. So it's telling me to set it up with the Nest app. Just got a little card in there. Very simple. The device itself is tiny. You can see it's about, you know, fits in a palm like that. And what do we have on there? It looks like a mounting hole. It's got a kind of rubberized back. Um, there's a QR code on here, which I imagine is for setting it up in the app. And then maybe this is to access the batteries. I'm not sure exactly on there. And then let's see what else we've got. Looks like some mounting screws hidden in this little thing. And um, that's pretty much it. So again, you'd mount this on the wall in the room where you wanted to um, keep an eye on the temperature and set it separately. And then you know, when you went to sleep, you could say, OK, make the baby's room um, 68 instead of 72, or whatever your pediatrician would say. And even though the rest of the house might get even colder, it'll make sure that that room is going to stay at that proper temperature. If you found this useful at all or any of my other videos, please subscribe to the channel by clicking below.